Hello, this is Elizabeth Bowden, Special Collection Consultant at Pequot Library. This is the first in a series of videos about Special Collections at Pequot. Quickly stated, Special Collections are manuscripts, rare books, and archives. In this video, we will look at archives which give us a look at the past and help us understand history specifically at the past as it relates to Pequot Library and also to Women's History Month. Pequot Library opened to the public in March 1894. This is true largely because of the philanthropy and dedication of a very special woman. Virginia Marquand Monroe was born on April 28, 1837 in Brooklyn, New York. She had a good childhood, but it was somewhat sad as well. Her parents died when Virginia was quite young. Her uncle Frederick Marquand and his wife Hetty adopted Virginia, and she moved into their home in Southport, Connecticut. Frederick traded in silver in New York City. He was very successful and his home in Southport that he purchased in 1849 was quite impressive. When Virginia was in her 20s, she went on a tour of Europe with her uncle Frederick and Aunt Hetty. In the archives, we see a good deal of Virginia's interest in travel. For example, this photo from Japan, which she took later on a trip in 1891. Frederick started a tradition of generosity and conducted his business and his life with a keen sense of civic duty. He left his property and home to his niece, Virginia, with the wish that the funds would be marked for education. Virginia would continue her uncle's tradition. In 1872, at age 35, Virginia married Elbert Brinkerhoff Monroe an associate of Frederick Marquand in the silver trade. In this photo from the archives, you see the Marquand Monroe family, Frederick, Elbert, Virginia, and young F. Marquand Monroe, who sadly died when he was only six. Virginia and Elbert shared Frederick's belief in philanthropy and decided to give to Fairfield and Southport a library. In 1887, they broke ground behind the home which they had inherited from Frederick. In this photo from the archives, you see both the Marquand Monroe Mansion and the upcoming library. In 1889, the Pequot Library Association was incorporated. Virginia and Elbert transferred the land and the Stone Library building to the group for one dollar. Here is Virginia's letter from 1897 to the Pequot Library Association, along with her check for $30,000. She congratulates the association on the growth of the library and suggests that if they invest correctly, they will have a yield of $1,200 a year, which should cover annual costs. On March 1, 1894, Pequot opened to the public for the first time. The first book added to the collections at Pequot Library was donated by Virginia. It was Bleak House by Charles Dickens. Sadly, Elbert passed away in April of the same year. Virginia continued her involvement with Pequot Library until her passing in 1926. Virginia's legacy, Pequot Library, continues today, vibrant, brilliant, and growing, thanks to an extraordinary woman, Virginia Marquand Monroe. Thanks for listening. We hope you can visit the library soon.